Hey viewer, welcome back! It's time for more Let's Play Prince of Persia! And I shouldn't have jumped off like that. I think I was supposed to do the wall running thing. There we go, that was it. Puzzles aren't too hard, but... You just gotta figure out what to do. Like that! Let's see you do this, viewer. Yeah. That is, there's no way that's even possible. And there it lay, just out of reach. The dagger of time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. A dagger, huh? That must be the Maharaja's treasure. I want that. It's so close, and yet so far away. And it's so shiny. I want the shiny dagger. And I want honor and glory! Let's go, viewer! Onward into the ruins! Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of that. It's like poles covered in spikes. That can't be good for us. Shouldn't be too hard to dodge, though. Run over here, and there we go. Land on this platform. On this platform. A lot of jumping puzzles in this game. A lot of puzzles in general, now that I think about it. But it's a fun game. Hopefully it'll be a fun Let's Play. Jump off the wall. Now let's head it back outside and... Christ. Look at this place. Who built this place? It looks... Unstable. Oh! Almost fell. Who built this place? They did a terrible job. This whole place is falling apart, and I have a bad feeling about this. I don't want to fall to my death. It's just a personal preference. I, I don't like the idea of falling to my death. I don't know about you guys, but j no, no for me. There it is! The dagger! We're so close! We'll jump on these pillars and slide down to the bottom. We are close! We're close! Let's climb up here. This statue is just conveniently built in a way that makes it easy for us to climb. How nice. And we're up! Here it is! We've got it! The Dagger of Time! Uh oh. Did that rock start to fall? What the? Did. Whoa! We just. We rewound time! Now I see why it's called the Dagger of Time. All right. I had what I came for. It was time to get out. This now. whole place is falling apart, though. Yikes! There are spikes below that. Who builds a castle with spikes below the floors? Well, then again, if you're trying to protect your dagger from random princes stealing it, I guess they would. But still, come on, that's a little much. But we got what we came for. Let's get out of here. And fast. Loading screen! What is that thing? Is it like a clock or something? Oh. Father, I have brought us honor and glory. Honor and glory! Your Majesty, you promised me my choice. That's the vizier. I don't trust him. Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That would make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through the city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And a dozen slave girls. Yes. 
that should be done. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. Who's that woman? Probably not an important character. Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you have given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. And yet, the best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. So that's the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure nice. as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Alas, only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. We have the dagger! A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. Alright, let's unlock the sands of time! This sounds great. No. What's the worst that could happen? No. I can't wait! No. Let's do it! What, what did we do? Why is the palace kind of falling apart? Um, I have a bad feeling about this. Uh oh. Yikes, did you see that? things. Sand monsters? Well, we have the Dagger of Time now. It unlocked the Sands of Time, so maybe we can use it to fight? We'll try it. Come on. Ow. Go down. What? Use the dagger? Oh, nice. Who's that woman, though? Why is she talking to us? Each time I struck them down, they rose to fight again. I soon realized that only by taking them to my own dagger, the sands that possess them, could I liberate them from their monstrous living death. Alright. Is that enough? Did we... Did you hear that? There's more of them. And that's the most effective way to get rid of them. Jump, slash, and then hit him with the dagger. Come on. There's way too many of these things. Oh, he blocked that. That happens every now and then. And of course, the enemies get stronger as we go along. But like any fight in this game, it's long. A lot of enemies to fight and they just keep spawning out of nowhere. Alright. That's enough of them. What's with that glowing sand coming up from the ground? Maybe we should step inside of it. What's the worst that could happen? So, let's go! Why not? Oh, crap. 
Oh, um, the hell is this? I'm scared. Um, uh, okay. What was that all about? I have a bad feeling about that. But we'll save here, and that wraps it up for this part. Done. I'll start the story from here. I think the prince has something to say. You think me mad. I can see it by the look in your eyes. You think my story is impossible. Perhaps I am mad. Who would not be driven mad by horrors such as I have lived? But I assure you, every word is true. That wraps it up for this part. I'm Vega. Until next time.